Electric car sales will break records worldwide, despite so-called sluggish demand, say analysts and experts. Around 17 million electric cars will be sold in 2023, which will be a pretty big increase from 14 million in 2023. Now, apparently EV sales are just not working out, but um, 17 million electric car sales this year. Well, I'd say that's uh, gonna be a pretty damn good result. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. EV sales are poised to hit 17 million this year in 2024, says the International Energy Agency or the IEA. Here's the thing. You might be thinking, uh, maybe they're just being optimistic. Well, the IEA, you should hear what Tony Sieber says about the IEA. <laughs> Tony Sieber sounds off on the IEA every year because the IEA always undersell solar. They undersell their predictions on uh, EVs, they undersell what's going to happen with wind power, they undersell what's going to happen with batteries. Basically, long story short, the IEA, they make predictions every year. And they always get it on the low side. They have never said, oh, solar is going to go up by 20% um, this year, and instead it goes up by 10. They've always under predicted. So 17 million could in fact be 20 million, could be 18 million. It's almost certainly going to be more than 17 million, though, if the IEA say 17 million. Sales of electric cars were 14 million in 2023. So what this means is a so-called slowdown in demand for EVs won't be enough to prevent 2024 being the best year ever for electric car sales worldwide. EV sales will rise by more than 21% this year across the planet. The IEA predicts that drivers will buy a record-breaking 17 million EVs. 10 million of those will be sold, though, in China. So China is driving this pretty much all themselves because they're manufacturing the majority of EVs as well. That 17 million figure represents a pretty significant increase on the 14 million from last year. That would mean that, well, nearly one in five cars, in fact, a bit more than one in five cars sold globally will be battery powered. How many cars are normally sold worldwide? Approximately 75 million. So 17 million is really a pretty big number when you consider um, that we don't even sell 80 million cars a year worldwide. Not all nations and countries and areas will be contributing equally to that growth. The US, of course, is well behind in terms of EV percentage. Uh, sales in Europe have been a little sluggish, but that's set to rebound. The European economy is struggling a little bit as well. Incentives have been scrapped in many European countries, but I still think we're going to see a big bounce back over the next, well, over the final six months of the year in Europe. Here's the thing though. IEA says EVs will account for half of all cars sales in China because, well, they already have so far in, in April. But only one in four in Europe, around 25%, where some subsidies have been cancelled, such as in Germany, and one in nine in America. In less wealthy developing countries with patchy access to being able to charge things, EV sales will be less significant. While they'll be the norm in countries that have legislated to prioritize EVs, four out of every five cars sold in Norway last year was fully electric. One of the barriers to greater uptake of EVs is there, well, higher upfront cost in some countries, well, many countries, versus combustion engine cars, even after price cuts instigated by Tesla and BYD, which reduced prices again uh, within the last few days in order, it, well, they reduced prices, in fact, in Europe, in Australia, in China, and the United States, and in the Middle East, in order to well, make their cars just so much more compelling, which I think they have done. The IEA says it expects EVs to cost the same as internal combustion engine powered cars by 2030. Now, other experts are saying that will happen in 2028. Some are saying 2026. Tony Sieber is saying that it will happen uh, this year. It already has happened in China, to be fair. But the countries that receive Chinese cars, EVs, well, very good chance that you're gonna see by the end of this year, EVs coming that are on parity with gasoline. Now, what's the biggest reason for this? Well, the biggest reason is because battery prices keep on coming down. 
But more so than that, economies of scale are being achieved. That means that economies of scale combined with cheaper batteries that have higher energy density is allowing manufacturers to reduce their costs. One knock-on effect of the increase in EV sales is a reduction in demand for oil used to power the combustion cars they're replacing. So oil demand is going to go down. Pollution will go down. In Chinese cities where more EVs are being sold, pollution levels have declined significantly. Pollution levels have actually begun to decline significantly in California for that exact reason as well. The IEA estimates that the world will reach peak demand for oil for road transport in 2025. And the need will be cut by more than 10% by 2035. Demand for chargers, electric car chargers, Tesla supercharging network, etc., will skyrocket as a result. The IEA says the world's charging network needs to grow by a factor of six or by 600% by 2035. Of course, most people will plug in. And one of the things increased EV sales are leading to is a huge explosion in rooftop solar. People are going, you know what? I can charge my EV virtually for free. And so solar has exploded here in Australia in China, in America, and even in Europe, which is fantastic news. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this. This is just fantastic. I'm stoked. Thanks for watching.